Yeah, recording. All right. Hey, people. Um, I got to reinstall Windows 7 on my laptop. So after I loaded the installer, I was like, hey, I should make a video about this. Show people how to install Windows 7 on a laptop. All right. So after you pop the disk in and boot your computer, your BIOS will either automatically ask you if you want to boot from disk but if it doesn't and it just goes into your regular operating system or it just doesn't boot because um, you have nothing on your hard drive then um, start over and hit the button that it tells you to push in your BIOS to bring up your boot menu and then you select the CD drive that the disk is in and then once it loads you get this page and you select English, your English, and stuff like that. The US keyboard is standard keyboard, and you hit next. So then you get this. If you're trying to fix Windows or something, you can go to repair your computer, and that brings up a few options that'll help you fix stuff, but we're installing. So you get setup is starting. It's my Toshiba laptop. So yeah, we'll just wait for that. What else? Just got home, I was away for a while. That's from the States, Dr. Pepper Cherry and uh, the Blackberry. I got a new new theme. It's uh, the iBerry theme. Looks like an iPhone. It's got all the iPhone icons. If you want to take like a week and read all that, then go for it. But you just click that, accept go next so if you have Windows Vista or XP um, and you're upgrading to Windows 7 you'll see upgrade but you'll have to reboot boot into Windows and then run this while in Windows it won't let you do it here but if you're doing it clean or wiping your current Windows and you got to go custom yeah that's my main partition that I have Windows 7 on now except it's just messed up so so I'm redoing it, but I'm going to format it, delete, because I don't want any more problems. So now, you see that it's just blank space, so you hit new partition, apply, and now you have a primary partition ready for installing Windows on. So you hit next, and now it's copying Windows files. That takes a little while, and then the rest of the stuff, actually I lied, that takes about four seconds. This one will take a while, installing stuff takes a bit. And here we are in the progress bar. This installation though, I can do it in 20 minutes sometimes. It really depends, I don't get why it depends on anything, but 20 minutes, done. Maybe half an hour, but uh, yeah. See you on the other side. We're now at the part where, well, it just asks you to uh, enter a username and name for the computer, and then a password. But I'm not going to use a password. And the product key I am skipping for now. Just use recommended settings for now. It doesn't matter. You can change them all later. I'm Central Time. Yeah, it looks about right. Yep. Wireless, check out my wireless. It's called Don't Steal My Internet. What the heck is my password? I can't remember. Oh man, this is bad. Let's try that. Yes, home network. <sighs> the installation reboots twice. It did for me. And, uh, so yeah. Watch out for that. And this is to do with home group. I would just skip the home group stuff because it's a bunch of garbage. And it doesn't work properly. Now loads your desktop. This is your regular boot screen. Welcome. And then it'll say preparing desktop. Or something like that. No 7 Ultimate. Prepare your desktop. Check out this Arizona. 
one gallon of amazingness. It's beautiful. Also from the States. Oh, hey, it's done. Alright, so here's our desktop for the first use. And got this new taskbar, which I like. It's got some fancy stuff. And see the hard drive crunching away there. Installing updates already. That's amazing. There's probably drivers in there, which is great. Less work for me. And from here, just customize the crap out of it, make it yours. Load all your files back on that hopefully you backed up. That would suck if you didn't back up your files. And that's it. Thanks for watching. NCrashB1.